Rudy Norlander of Big Sky now faces a long road to recovery after surviving one of the most brutal bear attacks you could imagine. He had one second before the bear was on him. Life can change on a dime, something Rudy Norlander knows all too well after a trip into the backcountry took an unexpected turn. The bear grabbed him by the head and shook him around and he actually bit his uh, lower jaw and picked him up. The Navy veteran was attacked on September 8th while helping a father and his son track a deer they had shot while bow hunting. Norlander owns and operates an ATV rental company and had rented a side-by-side -side to the pair. He started screaming and so they hurried and rushed over and they wanted to shoot at the bear but they were afraid of hitting him and so they just threw big rocks and started yelling and screaming and finally the bear dropped him and went away. The grizzly left, but tremendous damage was already done. The whole bottom part of his mouth is gone. Jaw, teeth, everything. There's nothing there. Norlander waited with the two men for over an hour until a helicopter could arrive. He was rushed to Bozeman Deaconess where he was stabilized and then flown to the University of Utah Medical Center where his recovery is just beginning. They put like a, a metal thing into his, what was left of his cheeks and a metal bar where they are going to reconstruct his jaw. But because of the intense nature of the injuries, Carrie said her brother will need to relearn how to chew, swallow, and speak again. And 20 inches of his leg bone will be used to reconstruct his jaw. Six months after that, then they will implant teeth. Right now, Norlander is communicating with a marker and whiteboard. Remarkably, Lyman says doctors predict her brother will make a full recovery. But the 61-year-old's injuries and his story are one first responders will be talking about for years to come. They said he's going to be used in training and be talked about for years. In Billings, Phil Van Pelt, MTN News.